show because the band's son and Earthquaker, they decided to team up and come up with this thing. This three-in-one, three-in-one type of box. Those three things, a rat type style distortion, a bush, you know, and a fuzz, an octave up fuzz, together, in one. Now, you know, the life, I mean, it is the first thing, commercially, to come out as a rat, octave, bush, type of thing, but, you know, most of us have a rat. Most of us have a boost type of thing. And most of us have either an octave, fuzz, like the Octavia type of thing, or maybe you just have an octave, like a pog or a whammy, let's say. Sure. So, the light pedal again. Rat, boost, octave, octave fuzz. Now, the life pedal is set up initially where you have the rat and the octave on this side here, as you can see in this thing. And the octave is controlled by this knob here. And the boost is after those two things. And when I say the boost is after, it is not affecting the rat or the octave. The rat in the octave is affecting the boost. It is going in there. Real nice. All right? And again, the boost in the life pedal itself is a clean boost. So, no coloration, no nothing. It's volume. It's more. More is more, right? More is more. So, what does that sound like? This is the rat and the octave. Full gain. Filter around noon, tone, knob, filter knob around noon, and boost on after boost around noon. Here we go. This is all, by the way, going into the Sun Enforcer, into a Sun bass cab. Yeah, this is a bass cab. This sounds better that way. In my opinion. Here we go. This is now just the octave and the rat. Now, I'm going to click it and the boost out. Not a whole lot different. Okay, maybe if I crank the boost up more, oh my ears. Ah! Okay, so, yeah, we're not going to do that. But, as you can see, not a whole lot different to the actual sound, but it is a hell of a lot louder. And, I mean, if you want to do that, cool. The boost is afterwards. Again, it's a clean boost. More. It's just more of what you have. So, you want more? It's going to give you more. Okay. Great. Now, as you can see, I did not put this light pedal in a dryer. There is, as well, a smaller version 
I like to call the little life. And the little life as well, same exact circuit, same everything, different size, one, which is, as you can see by this thing over here, I can actually control the octave in and out, up and down, not up and down, more or less with this switch, with this expression over here. And so let me show you what we did. So, again, same thing. Rat, octave. I'm going to want the octave all the way up on here, but again, heel down, zero, heel up, pretty much like I'm doing this, right? So, we're going to have that down. Um, gain all the way up. We'll put the filter, tone, nooner. And again, the boost, we don't need a whole lot of boost. And level. So, this is the two. circuits, same exact inner sound, but, I mean, obviously it's smaller. I mean, you know, you really want to take this on tour with you? It looks cool. I mean, the knobs are over there. You know, I can't really see what I'm doing. Where's this? A little bit more normal of your life. You want your life a little normal. So with a little life. If you want a normal life, you got a little life. <laughs> and, again, a little extra feature. You can control with the expression pedal instead of having to, you know, um, every little brother wiggle your knobs for you, and that's wrong. So, again, life pedal, it's neat. Why do you want a life pedal? You probably like doom. You probably like death and destruction. You probably, you know, want to wear a cloak like sun and have a lot of fog, which, um, you know, I... Apologize for not having that today, but obviously that's what you like. You like your life a little dark. And that's what the life pedal's about. Now, again, the life pedal came out, sun came out to Earthquaker, or Earthquaker came out to the sun, and said, hey, this is what we use on stage. A rap, a fuzz, and an octave. And a boost. Whatever. They're like, hey, let's put it all on a pedal. Great. Life pedal comes out. Now, Disclaimer, I don't know if um, Fuzz Lord came out with a Nazareth after or before. Doesn't really matter. I got it myself afterwards. I got the life pedal because I wanted to do this little bitty for y'all today. So, Nazareth. Let's talk about the Nazareth. The Nazareth, similar thing. You got your rat in this side, but now... Boost and octave on this side. The boost, number one, the boost in the Nazareth is a treble style, treble booster, treble booster. And again, treble booster, for those of you who may not know, was used famously by Tony Iommi, that's 
So I got this out in the Black Simon, my main queen, treble booster into a little box. Obviously a different style, but similar idea. People don't want to boost treble. That sounds gross most of the time. But in these type of things, you know, just a little... <laughs> and so the boost and the octave are actually on this side, more into that, is alone in this one. Where again, in the life pedal, you have your rat and your boost, your rat and your octave, excuse me, your rat and your octave in the life pedal on this side, boost on its own over here. Again, boost is after octave and rat. This one, octave and boost into rat. Sounds a little gross, but it, it sounds a little gross too, as you'll see. Another little extra feature, three band EQ, no tone or filter, three band EQ, can tweak the sound honestly a little bit more than the live pedal because it is three band EQ, bass, middle, treble, but this one you only have a filter knob, okay? You want that? Cool, this got it. And again, you cannot turn off or on the octave on its own, whereas in this, you have the dedicated knob, or the expression pedal. And so again, a couple things to keep in mind if a three-in-one type of this ratty octave thing, if you want that, just keep in mind of these two different things. So, let's check out how the Nazareth sounds. Again, gain max, tone at noon, when I say tone, EQ at noon, boost, octave, into, rat. Here we go. Nothing. Lots of it. hear the rat sound. No boost, no octave. Nothing. Let's hear just the rat side in the life. So again, rat side in the Nazareth. <laughs> website, the rat in the Nazareth is higher headroom, um, again, three band EQ, whereas the life pedal, I do feel like the life pedal, it, on its own, the rat side has more gain, for sure, for sure it has more gain in it, but again, take into consideration, this has less gain because we're, go we're gonna put a boost into it, you need a little bit of room to have a boost inside your rat. Otherwise your rat's gonna explode, okay? And you don't wanna clean that up. Whereas this, you can have a bunch of gain, and that's just gonna make you louder. You know, it's not gonna change your gain at all. So again, just something to keep in mind. If you feel like you want your rat alone to have some more gain, maybe it's a pedal. But again, let's just hear now the two boots. So again, here, is the octave and the boost. Again, I cannot turn off the octave in the Nazareth. Whereas this, this is just a clean boost. Treble style octave and a clean boost. So here we go. Nazareth. <laughs>
obviously different styles, but now you can really hear that Hendrixy, purple haze, glitchy, velcroy style. Again, that's just that's just a boost in the octave. There's no, there's not a whole lot of gain in that. And as you saw, nothing really happened with the boost on the life panel because you know you're just pushing your amp. Now you want to push your amp. Again, go ahead. This is a big amp. I know you're looking at this. We're going to talk about that in a minute. This is a big amp. You got a big amp. You got a T-model. You got a, a Varelin. And you want it even louder? Go ahead, dog. This this amp is loud. And, you know, I got a, we got it pretty tame here in the studio. But that's up to you. So, again, you don't really have to have the boost on this one very loud. It's, it's already giving you some zhuzh, like it's giving you a little... Right? So, again, now let's just have the two comparison. So, again, both gain max, octaves on, tone, filters, whatever, EQs, all at noon, volume, I try to get it the same, if it's not, EQ all day long and try to make it sound like that. I can try and tweak that all day long to make it sound like that. They're different, okay? It's kind of up to you what you want. You want your boost and octave on its own, which I know, I don't know if you guys see Buzzlord's Instagram's Q&As, but I did ask him if he was going to do just this boost style on its own, and he did say he's working on it. So even then, you know, if you just like this boost by itself, into, you know, your Marshall or whatever you got. Once on its own, it's coming, okay? But if you also want the rap, you got that too. Whereas this, if you want more volume. It's, it's got no flavor, there's no spices, where are the chips? There is no flavor, there are no spices, where are the chips? You know what I mean? And, but, it is a good rap. Honestly, in my opinion, this boost doesn't even need to be there. Anyways. So, now maybe you're thinking, well, number one, don't buy big red letters somewhere, please. Don't buy a life panel for more than what they sold it for retail. People make cons of it. Maybe you'll luck out one day and get one for cheap. Maybe they'll make them again. Don't pay like $400, $500 for a life panel. I got lucky. I waited and waited on the website refreshing. This is a first run one. And again, as well, I waited a long time to get these. And I did not pay over price. I paid regular retail price. I would never pay above retail price for a pedal. And you shouldn't either. So, maybe you're thinking, hey, I like the life pedal. It looks cool, for sure. But I'm not going to pay $400 for a pedal. Well, you know, you can get a Fuzz Lord Nazareth, for sure. It does similar things, if not better. Possibly you. So, if you like that, sound and you want the three of them in one go for either a fuzz lord nazareth or again there's clones out there there's other companies out there that i might not even be talking about right now or you know if there are hit me up but it's great i do love the nazareth the life pedal it is a gnarly thing 
you know. And this, I do like this, obviously, better than that, because it's smaller. I can do that. It's great. Whereas this, a little bit more tonal flexibility. You know, with the three-band EQ, travel style booster. So that's up to you. Now, you may also be thinking, but I have a rat pedal. Well, most of us have a rat pedal. I have two different ones. As well, we have the Tim Savage Toe Cutter. Toe Cutter? It is Toe Cutter, isn't it? Anyway. This is as well, maybe it doesn't have the LM308 chip in it. It is a similar rat style off amp hard clipping circuit. So maybe you're thinking, I have an original Proco rat. I have a reissue. I have something similar. I've got a DoD Grunge. Let's not forget the DoD Grunge. It is a rat. If you didn't know, watch JHS's pedals. Yeah, JHS pedals videos about the Lamb series. This is actually a rat circuit as well. So, maybe you have something like that. As do I. We have the Mountain by Frost Giant Electronics. A great, 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 great rat style pedal. You have all kinds of tonal options as far as gain and distortion. I, of course, want the maximum gain possible. So gain on max. And let's just hear what that sounds like, Jelly. Nada. Mountain. I just so happen to have the ALF oof, oof, by Pepper's Pedals. Um, you can't honestly really get this anymore. It was kind of a one-off thing. But again, it is an uh, Say with me. Uh, uh, oh, you left. And again, similar thing. It does something a little different. Um, because as you know, most people know, when you have an octave style fuzz, turn your volume down. You get a little less gain, but you get a little bit more glitchy goodness. So this allows you, this feed knob here, this is actually like a volume knob on your guitar. So you don't have to play with this, you can have it preset on that. And as well, you can actually turn the octave on and off of this. It's pretty neat. So, let's just hear what that fuzz sounds like on its own, shall we?
talked about fuzz going into the mountain sound of distortion and the octave and wet sound of distortion in the mic. Now, what you're going to notice. Again, this is an octave fuzz. It is not just a plain octave. Whereas when you think about the life pedal, it is just an octave. There is no octave file, octave style fuzz in it. It's think of it as like the tentacle. They have the tentacle or like the the octave up in the hoof reaper. Um, it's just an analog style octave. So the analog is a little clearer. Again, you can play with your guitar volume and the settings in your octave style fuzz to try and get there. So. <laughs> in there as well as well by frost giant electronics they yell me which is obviously kind of a play on tony iomi's i almost said it wrong tony iomi's name so they yell me and let's just hear let's just hear the yell me by itself yeah <laughs> treble, get it up there, and you're going to smash into your rat. And again, that's what we're doing with the Nazareth. So let's see. Nazareth, boost octave into a rat as well. Boost octave into a rat. <laughs>
Nazareth. Obviously, more intention into what that circuit's doing. And what I mean by that circuit, I mean the octave, treble blues, and the rep, all together. Obviously, there's more intent as far as how much gain there is into those three circuits. Whereas when I'm going octave up fuzz, boost, rep, you know, or let's say if you, you know, you use your own pedals, it's going to be up to you as far as how you balance the levels of each one. You know, you're the barista of your own tone, okay, when it comes to your three pedals. Whereas, you know, the Fuzz Lord of Nazareth, it's, it's pumpkin spice, dude. It's set, it's going to sound good. Everything's on noon, max, it just sounds, ooh. <laughs> It just sounds really good, okay? The Nazareth is my favorite. Sorry, okay. Why? It's got the the treble boost side. The clean boost and the life pedal, that's not for me. I'm not a clean boost type of guy. I'm a dirty guy, okay? Anyways, that's inappropriate. Now, when you're doing three pedals on your own, let's say instead of this mountain, you're using a Proco reissue, or using a DoD grunge, or um, the, the Savage, the, the Toe Cutter, uh, whatever rap variant you're using. Again, amount of gain, amount of treble going at the end of your circuit, whereas again, think about the Fuzz Lord. The rat's at the end. It's really high headroom. You've got a three band EQ, not a whole lot of gain. Versus other rats, yeah, maybe I should have turned the gain down in the mountain. Maybe it would have tamed it a little bit more. Again, I could sit here and twiddle all these knobs all day long to make them sound exactly the same. That's not the point. That's up to you to do. You want to come up with your own mixture to sound exactly like the Nazareth? That's up to you. That's not my job. I'm here to tell you that you can get really close. If not, as you saw with the three, it was really gnarly. It was super loud. <clears throat> I think we started to clip the mic here, too. And it was really I mean, think. You've got this on max. Look how high this boost is. Um, Frost Giant will tell you that it is a loud pedal. This pedal's loud, as you saw earlier. And again, this volume up gain was pretty high earlier. That's a lot of cascading gain stages. Obviously, it's going to fall apart on itself at some point. But hey, that's what you want to do. Again, you're the barista, dude. You, you want soy milk in it? You put soy milk in it, dude. Uh, that's up to you, okay? So, what did we learn so far? The life pedal, don't buy it for $600. It's cool. It looks sick. Sweet. Nazareth? Three pedals, it's just if you have something similar. Again, I don't have any other octave pedals. I don't think. Do I? No. I don't have any other octave pedals, right? I don't have any other octave pedals? No. We don't have any other octave pedals. Um, the octave up fuzz is the closest thing I can get to the octave up sound within the life and the Nazareth. Again, if you have like a tentacle, you got a pod, you got a whammy. You got an OC2, oh, maybe the OC5, the new one, sorry. Um, then, yeah, the octave, you know, you can make it sound more polyphonic, big word, or you can make it sound glitchy, gooey. Again, that's up to you. Do you want a treble? And again, keep in mind, the Yomi's got three modes in it. Treble, mid-bass, and bass. Um, I've had it in the treble mode this whole time. Because this is set in a treble type of way. So, again, you can change, you got a boost, you got a, we got different, we got all kinds of boosts. The spark's hidden in there somewhere. You know why? Because I'm not a clean boost type of guy. 
A spark is a super clean boost type of thing. Um, maybe you got a tube screamer. I've got three of them. Um, tube screamer might be pretty good. You know, you can cut down a lot of that, that bass heaviness. You know, maybe it will make it not sound so, uh, you know. Um, again, rap. You got a different kind of rap. Maybe with less gain, more headroom, something you can higher. Whoa, something you can run at a higher voltage might work a little bit better. Again, that's just kind of what I wanted to explain. Is that just experiment? It's up to you. Barista. Okay. Last topic I wanted to touch on. The victory. This is the amp I use all the time. This is my go-to. Um, I have a beta lead. I've got um, Hot Rod DeVille. I've got a couple things. Victory has been my favorite so far. Um, Kraken, I get all the gain that I need, as well as it's got a pretty good clean channel too. If you were wondering why I'm using such a big amp like the Enforcer, most people are using these pedals into a clean amp. Most. Chill. All right. The rest of y'all, we're going to talk about it. What about you use a dirty amp, not a clean one? Let's compare the two really quick, shall we? Um, I'm only going to run the live pedal and the Nazareth into it. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. And I'm not changing a whole lot of the settings. Again, everything was gain at max, uh, tone at noon, uh, everything else, I haven't really touched it. Chill. Okay, so this is just the Enforcer by itself. Nothing in front. And unmuted. Lots of headroom. That's why there's so much room for these pedals. That's why I really wanted to showcase what they all sound like. Now, for me, this is my clean sound in the victory. Obviously, breaking up more, a little dirtier. Very different speakers, V30s in this, bass speakers in that, they're very different amps. But again, I wanted to show you, if you use a dirtier amp, a smaller amp, more conventional speakers, this is probably what you're going to run into. So here we go. This is the Nazareth, again, into the Enforcer, and then we're going to switch it into the Victory. Here we go. Bridge pick up. Sorry, I haven't said which ones I'm using this whole time. Uh, you can see where I'm switching to deal with it. <laughs> to know that obviously using it into your twin reverb into a high headroom amp your T model Col Coliseum lead whatever you got something clean um, mid scoopy high 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 headroom you're gonna get a lot more of those frequencies out um, so you're gonna hear a lot more of the treble in there Again, um, not a whole lot of mids, super bass heavy. Again, I'm using bass speakers. Obviously, there's a whole lot of room for, for air to move in that. And sometimes, that sounds way brighter, okay? And again, because of how everything's set, 
There's so much room for that kind of stuff. This, as you saw, darker, um, frequency is a little different. Super mid-heavy, way mid-heevy, especially the speakers in this. The V30s in here sound really good. And again, dirtier channel, not as much room to move. You know, there's not, how do I put that? Um, it's just, the headroom is just smaller. Again, that's a 100 watt amp. This is running at the low setting, this is a 25. And it's still, honestly, as loud. Remember, wattage means nothing. It's all about headroom, it's all about how those circuits are used. So again, high headroom, lots more air to move, way more scoopy mids. A little dirtier, more mids, it sounds a little darker. Let's compare the life pedal, shall we? So, life pedal, into the enforcer. different sounds. You gotta think about the foundation that you're building on. You got a hole you gotta fill in, you got way more room above you, obviously you're gonna have way more space to put whatever you want in that lot. Whereas this, you're gonna, you're gonna get a pretty solid foundation. You got a ceiling. There's only so much frequencies that can be inside that lot there. So just keep in mind, obviously the amp that you're using, speakers that you're using, Guitar that you're using, all that makes a difference. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show what I have here, maybe two ends of the spectrum that people can experience out there. Um, the only other thing left I wanted to show, what if the, the, the victory had more gain in it? Huh? What if you're playing into like an angle or a mesa and you like it with a lot of gain? So let's compare that now. I'm going to turn the Second gain on in the victory. So, enforcer, clean. Victory, no pedals. And here we go. it's falling apart. Let's put the Nazareth into the very high gain. Victory. So again, no pedals yet. Nazareth. So again, this is just the victory here. Right now, all the gain is in. And you're going to see me switch the gain in and out with uh, this pedal here.
where to go when you already have that much game going on. So, obviously, <clears throat> octave is much clearer. Um, you can just hear the characteristics of the pedal a little bit more when you have a little bit of a cleaner channel. Um, so when you're, if you're already running a really high gain amp, you probably wouldn't need this side of the pedal. Maybe? Let's just try the boost into the gain amp, okay? So here's the boost into the clean amp, and then we're going to go into the gain. Here we go. <laughs> different. Um, again, the octave is a lot clearer in the clean channel. Clean. But again, if, it, if you're in the game, um, maybe a treble booster is not something you're looking for. Again, I'd probably look for a tube screamer. Maybe a clawny type of thing. Maybe. Um, the octave, yeah, all day long. Um, you know, again, I would maybe just try the octave by itself, like a tentacle or a pog, maybe the Argo from Mythos, that would be a good one too. Um, again, not a whole lot of gain you want to add onto your already saturated amp. Um, and honestly, I feel like that's all the sounds I want to show you today. So again, I just kind of want to do a, a quick recap. Um, life pedal, it's dope. We know it's dope. Sweet. Do you need a clean boost in it? Probably not. Um, if you got a little amp, like even smaller than this, like a 10 watt thing, a clean boost is going to be great. Um, otherwise, you got a big amp, a clean boost, you're just going to pop your eardrums. And at that point, everything's going to sound distorted after that. So, uh, and the Nazareth, excelente. We love the Nazareth. Um, the Nazareth covers a lot of ground. It's got a little bit more tonal sculptability. Is that a word? It is now. And I don't know. I, I like it a lot. If I were to put one of these, one pedal on my board, it would be the Nazareth for sure. Over the life pedal? No question. Um, and again, I with these three pedals together, I just kind of wanted to show you. You can get pretty damn close. Excuse my language. You can get pretty damn close. And if you got something similar, do it just... What did I tell... What did I say earlier? You're the barista, dude. Make your own. Make your own. Build your own bear. Put your own heart in that bear, dude. Do that. And again, just keep in mind of some features that you would want. Keep in mind of what kind of amp you're using. Um, again, I'm not going into any kind of DI or virtual amp. This is all, they're both tube. Um, I cannot tell you how these would sound straight into your jaw or into your computer. Um, that's, that's unholy. You shouldn't be doing that. Just kidding. You do you. Uh, and just so yeah, just keep in mind of the features that maybe you would think about. Keep in mind of the things that you already have. And with that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.